the Phantoms almost at full strength, but a key omission. Number eight, Darius Puskowski is injured in that game last week against Streatham, and he's out, out for the weekend. We understand the uh, Thunder, as I said a few moments ago, Jamie Lyon, Grant McPherson looking down that list. Michael Stratford, Grinnell Park, a real talent, formerly at uh, Bracknell, Ross Green. Former Phantom Tom Carlin, Greg Randall had a spell with the Phantoms and the Pirates, I think, Stevie? Yeah, a long time ago. Greg's been playing a long time now, but he's experienced on there. He won't do anything silly. Just make that first pass, and uh, that's Keeper Milky tonight. I look at that uh, lineup, and you think with a little bit more depth and a uh, couple of imports, and there's some players there that would hold their own. I mean, they finished seventh, but that would hold their own in this league yeah definitely uh, MK have done really well this year I mean they haven't got any imports so they've just gone all British really win the opening draw and uh, there's a little bit of noise bit of atmosphere in here so although I told you earlier on it wasn't the, the, the largest crowd uh, there's King we've got a penalty on the play and uh, well that's within 15 seconds and uh, and there's a bit of pushing and shoving on the boards and still some pushing and shoving <laughs> and uh, you told me that there would be no friends when the puck's dropped. To see a replay of that. So uh, King clipped there by number, I think it's number nine, Graham, it's Graham McPherson. Um, catches him a little bit. Yeah, I, the, 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 no, this is playoff hockey, do you know what I mean? There's always going to be a nip and tuck. Grant's going after the bench now, but that's what he wants to do. Do you know what I mean? They're, they're the underdogs, they want to get the people's skin. So this is what's going to happen, but this is playoffs. This is what it should be about. I, Tom Norton brings it down. Owen Griffith shoots and scores through the five hole. Phantoms power play goal with 33 seconds left. And uh, here's the replay. So good work initially from Norton. Down for Griffiths, who shoots through a very big five hole, Stevie. Yeah, that was a big one there. But just before that, Flaherty had a breakaway. And right at the start of the game, you need to get that shot on there. Even make a little deep, but don't miss the net. So. That was a big let off for Phantoms and they went straight down there and uh, that was a bad goal to let in really. And you yeah, it is, yeah, it's a good trade for Phantoms, Carl on in the box for pick, uh, they'll take that. But uh, let's hope he keeps going at this pace, it's quite good, that was a good hit. Right, nice little play there from, from Nags into Salem, little move and uh, well the referee's behind that all day long and could have seen it, Phantoms with a chance, Nathan Salem's put it in. Too many D-men worried about catching the man rather than the puck. And, uh, well, that's scrappy. Let's see a replay. Well, Quinney was pushing James Ferrara. And 91, Nathan Salem. Johnny on the spot, sticks it underneath. Tom Annett, 2-0 with 351 remaining. I thought there was going to be a whistle there, to be frank with you. Yeah, yeah, the MK were just getting mixed up with stuff. That Instead of concentrating on the puck, and when you're playing man-on-man -man in the D zone, if you, if you forget your man, it's, uh, you're going to get scored again, so no, but MK have just uh, lost Lewis Christie to the dressing room here, so Lewis has gone to the dressing room, so that's a massive cog in the, their D zone, so they're going to have to bear with it for the next two minutes here. Good play there, Aries to James, what a goal! Captain James Ferrara picks the puck on the uh, blue line, has a look at Tom Annett and finds a spot, top shelf, and uh, here he's... James Ferrara takes it on the blue line, has a touch and a look. And that's top shelf, glove side, what a finish. Yeah, that's a good finish from James there. He had a quick look up just before he shot. He saw a net had gone down for some reason and uh, just fired it straight above his glove there. So quick heads up and had a look. And uh, like I say, Lewis Christie's gone. So MK are just going to have to regroup here on the defensive zone. From our visitors, good play from uh, Flarty and in through the crease uh, and it goes to show you what a game small margins such fine margins two best opportunities of the game fell to the thunder then the phantom score and you know a couple of lapses and a great finish from Ferrara phantoms lead by three yeah yeah M Milton Keynes were doing really well do you know what I mean until about 15 minutes into the game they had a bit of a barren spell for the last five minutes and uh, the phantoms scored a couple of goals so they're there's a bit of chirping going on now, but this is uh, this is playoffs for you. This is what it is. A lot of pushing and shoving there, and the Phantoms have got control. And have turned it over again. A little reverse, and uh, there we go. 
we get a glove thrown and one of the lightning players goes down if we just see that again yeah it's, uh, Robson. Robson sits his man down he's gone over picks up by Weldon looks for the pass taken by Padalek Padalek go and a little fist bump from Alice Padalek picks up his own rebound and sticks it in yeah I think he's just had a laugh at Weldon there because he slapped and hit him in the, in the side of the short so it wasn't a pass that Weldon wanted but this is Paddy just going down taking his time doesn't need any speed to beat that D-man and uh, it's Randall who's a bit slow so that's a, that's a great goal from Paddy to pick up his own rebound yeah, not much to aim at there after the rebound came out and the puck wouldn't have been very far off the pads no no the net is down and he just flipped it over there but like I say Paddy and Randall two older guys I'd like to say and uh, Paddy got the best win there you it want to see that that trip in there but like I said Ross Bowers is telling the guys keeps going on to him just one shift at a time one shift at a time and hockey's a you can score two or three goals in seconds so oh that, that, he just, he just nailed the goalie here here we go there's Carlon and uh, McPherson and uh, well we'll bring you that the uh, we'll bring you the replay uh, Scott Robson had pulled Tom Carlon well away from it and there's Salem having to dig at white after the event so you just look there on the camera there's Graham McPherson and inside punches the goalie here Tom Carlon you see Tom, Tom Carlon has it, pushes yeah. you in out of the way yeah so Robbo turns and got, uh, Robbie Ferraro turns and goes after him and then uh, McPherson sucker punches him here and I think James there you go there's a the sucker punch yeah so I haven't seen the third man in penalty for, for an awful long time have you? Not for a long time, but Hewitt won't see that, and his linesman won't see it, and I think that's why Jameson went straight after him. So hopefully one of the captains or assistant captains will tell him. But McPherson should be out of the game here. The the Grant McPherson that we know of old. Max turns, and uh, it's given away once more. Tom Carlon shoots, bobbled by uh, Ewan King, and we get uh, a little conversation once more, a little bit of a. Stinky glove in uh, the, the face of Tom Norton. I think uh, so. Something and nothing there, Stevie. But you and had got it. It's, it's moments after. I mean, it, it, the play's yeah. gone, yeah. and all these people in here want to see the Phantom score six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think this is the problem when they play Basin State. They got that third goal and just sat back, and uh, we're doing exactly the same. We're four 0 up. We're playing against Milton Keynes. Let's let's get some goals here. Put it put it out the way, and then. Uh, Give us something to cheer about, do you know what I mean? And they're going to give it the big one tomorrow night because it, it, it's likely to be their last game of the season. Yeah, last game, four goals in MK is nothing. Do you know what I mean? They've still got a chance here. There's a goal. Like that, three goals. Yeah, we just, this was just ob obviously from the first drop of the puck, MK, they deserve, they deserve a goal. They deserve two goals, really, to be fair. But this is a, obviously a bad period for fandoms that this has never happened. Jamie Lyon with the goal, I think, there. Picks it up. Phantom's not do doing enough on the boards. Grant McPherson works hard, gets the better of his man. It comes clear. And uh, uh, it was McPherson, not Lyon, yeah. So, uh, Wells has played well tonight. Uh, Salem's played okay. Do you know what I mean? So, they might give it to James, really. But do you think, James, I'll let you have this one this week. And for the Thunder. I would give it to McPherson just for being in Phantom's face, but uh, like I say, Phantom did win the game. We're not getting, the, we're not arguing the fact that Phantom won, but they'd be a bit disappointed they didn't win by more. We've got a home fixture next weekend, a playoff game. If we get through Milton Keynes, we will wait and see. So no announcements until then. But the winner of this two-legged tie will play Streatham or Swindon.